these are the motions for the return of property as requested by Barry Morphew's Turner. The charges against Mr. Morphew were dismissed on April 18th, 2022. Prior to the dismissal, Defence Counsel asked this court to order the return of the property. This court directed the parties to confer and let the court know if there were disagreements and upon conferral to follow up with the court if necessary. Undersigned counsel have attempted that conferral and the prosecution has refused to release any of Mr. Morphew's property. The prosecution has been in possession of the Morphews property for over two years. The items have been photographed, swabbed, tested and downloaded. There is no link between the property to the location or circumstances of Mrs. Morphews disappearance. In fact, there has been a sighting of a woman as recently as May 22nd who has a close resemblance to Mrs. Morphew, which the defence notified the prosecution about but does not appear. The prosecution has followed up. The defence is investigating this lead. Additionally, the defence has not seen or heard of any discovery or searching of a body up above Mr. Morphew's old residence. The region which appears to be born dry at this time, see footnote one. The property is not contraband. The sheriff is in possession of hundreds of items, however. The following numbered items, 1 to 97, are the items Mr. Morphew requests to be returned. The prosecution has indicated it could recharge Mr. Morphew if they find Mrs. Morphew's body, which they believe to be near the Morphew's old home, buried under five feet of snow. This is unlikely. In consideration of the extent of the search conducted around Mr. Morphew's old home and the lack of barriers to search in that area in the last two years, attached are photos of the area above the Morphew's old home taken on April 24th, 2022 and photos of the region taken the week of May 16, 2022. See Exhibit A to this motion. The prosecution said many times throughout the litigation they do not know what happened to Mrs. Morphew and only supplied the court with speculation, hunches and misrepresentations. So here's the list of the 97 items. Number one. Next copy. 16 gig thumb drive two digital video recorder three Mallory Murphy cell phone four rampage native crossbow with scope five firearm paperwork for firearm six browning game camera seven Browning game camera, eight Matthews solo cambo, nine point one seven savage model, ten compact Presario laptop, eleven Dell Inspiron, twelve white and pink Apple Watch with charger, thirteen Cuddleback digital trail cam, fourteen digital trail cam. 15, 16, 17 digital trail cams, 18 camo ammo bag with miscellaneous ammo, 19 Lexa 1 gig compact flash, 20 financial documents from truck, 21 WGI Innovations trail camera. 22 trail cam 23 trail cam
24 trail cam, 25 trail cam. 26 white inner pods with charger. 27 crossbar bolts with multiple broadheads. 28, 22 Hornet rifle. 29 game camera. 30 five arrows. 31 I fly black suitcase. 32 HP laptop. 33 Mac Apple laptop. 34 tablet white Apple iPod. iPad. 35 Kindle, 36 letter addressed to Barry from Suzanne, 37, 38, 39 trail cams, number 40 Green Town Holy Bible, 41 letters, journals, notebooks, 42 black notebook, 43 tax documents in black folder, 44 iPod, 45, 46 documents forty seven clothing Forty eight documents, forty nine container with documents, fifty notebook, fifty one camera, fifty two documents, fifty three miscellaneous receipts with from master bathroom drawers, fifty four miscellaneous thank you cards, fifty five green journal, fifty six journal with butterflies, fifty seven gratitude journal. 58 family portrait, 59 graphite arrow, about 18 inches long with broadhead. Number 60, black DVR, 61. Pistol, 9mm pistol, 62. Revolver, 63. 22 caliber 64 Harrington and Richardson 22 caliber 65 Browning 66 Browning 67 Camo 17 caliber 68 a Winchester 69 another Winchester 70 a Browning 71 Sure, what 71 is. CF Convox Forest, Indiana 300 blackout with suppressor. Seventy two Remington model seven hundred seventy three Browning seventy four Browning model sixty five seventy five a Remington model seventy six Weatherby Mark seventy seven Browning 78 Benale Super Black Eagle 2 79 Weather Bay Mark 5 80 Camo 12 gauge Browning 81 Miscellaneous Paperwork from Gun Surf 82 Bank Receipt from Gun Surf 83 Tapes from Gun Surf VHS 84 GPS 5 in total 85 game cameras, 86 game cameras, 87 270 WSM 240, 88 240 Weatherby, 89 270 Win, 90 Apple MacBook Pro, 91 New Life Study Testament Book, 92 White Books with Writings, 93 White Green Cross Symbol.
94 tax documents on open mail, on opened mail, 95 miscellaneous documents, greetings cards, gift card envelopes, 96 miscellaneous documents in box, financial docs, mail, business cards, 97 broadhead. The prosecution has copied and preserved the paper documents. The electronic items including the SD cards have been removed and copied or downloaded by the prosecution's purported experts. Some of the items identified in the above property chart are of sentimental value. This includes some of the hunting gear which is exceptionally costly and cannot easily be replaced. The only theory ever put forward by the prosecution regarding any weapon being utilised in the alleged murder was that perhaps a dart Marlin rifle was involved. As it turns out, that rifle was tested by the prosecution's firearm expert in 2022, and as it was seized, it was inoperable. Mr. Morphew does not request return of that item. Mr. Morphew has a right to return of his property once all evidentiary uses have been completed. In white, a police officer's service revolver, which was allegedly used by the defendant to commit second degree murder, was seized from the defendant at the time of his arrest. The defendant was acquitted at trial and six days later, the police officer filed a motion for the return of the revolver. The trial court denied the motion and on appeal, the Court of Appeals reversed and remanded for the trial court to order the return of the revolver, finding it was not contraband nor the fruits of illegal activity by the police officer. To recover property seized as part of a criminal proceeding, a defendant may file a verified motion seeking the return of that property with the same court in which the charges were brought. Mr. Morphew has verified this petition. Upon Mr. Morphew's request, as is made herein, this court must hold an evidentiary hearing. Mr. Morphew need establish only a Prima face case of ownership. A prima, probably butchering that part. Legal lingo, is it? A prima face case requires all that Mr. Morphew show that the items were seized from him in conjunction with the investigation and that the items are being held by law enforcement authorities. Upon establishment of the prima face case, the burden that shifts to the prosecution to prove by preponderance of the evidence that the items are the fruits of or are connected to an illegal activity. The burden shifts to the prosecution to show that the property was the fruit of an illegal activity or to show a connection between the seized property and criminal activity. It would violate due process if law enforcement could simply seize property and return it indefinitely after the charges have been dismissed. By keeping Mr. Morphew's property, the prosecution is essentially keeping the false charges alive. A cloud of suspicion over his head and his life and is akin to keeping Mr. Morphew on an unlawful personal recognizance bond. Mr. Marfew is presumed innocent and shall be treated as so. Both the US Constitution and the Colorado Constitution prohibit government takings of a property without due process of law. Barry, Mallory and Mercy Marfew also have the natural, essential and inalienable right to acquire, possess and protect their property. They have the right to keep and bear arms in defence of their homes, persons and property. All of these constitutional rights are presently being violated by the deprivation of their property, including their firearms. 
Wherefore, Mr. Morphew requests that this court enter an order that law enforcement and or the district attorney shall return his property forthwith. Alternatively, to preserve costs, Mr. Morphew requests a hearing on the motion via WebEx. Respectfully submitted this 26th day of May 2022. Signed, Mr. Morphew.